how do you feel seeing what is unfolding in terms of the Lev Derman scandal, the impact that it has had on a partisan level within the United Democratic Party and the fact that there is the pending February 9th convention. Uh, the name of one of your colleagues is being called prominently in this particular scandal. What are your thoughts? It's a good question you asked me, um, Isani. It's a very, very, very good question. It, because it speaks to the culture of Belizeans. You and I know the politicians better than most people. And one thing we know for certain is that nine out of 10 times, the information that publicly surfaces about a person or persons is many times not as bad as other information which may exist and simply doesn't come to the fore. You know, this is a society um, that we have and whether people are rich or poor, you have people who do things that, that are in their skeletons in the closet that if they come out, can cause a lot of people to lose their aspirations or to, to, to abort their opportunity for leadership. But admittedly, your party, sir, is scandal plagued at this point. Concede. And no, concede. what does that do for public confidence in terms of persons who are going to the polls sometime later this it year doesn't, to elect um, a leader? It doesn't, it doesn't um, enhance confidence at all. As a matter of fact, it can dampen confidence. The United Democratic Party, as it stands, is arguably facing the most contentious leadership transition in its history, given everything that is happen, happening currently. I'm certain that the events of the past few weeks will shape how you, as a voter leading up to the convention, and perhaps your delegates, will determine which of the two aspirants they will go with for leader of the United Democratic Party going into the general elections. Where do you stand? I'm not asking you who you'll vote for, but I'm asking you, has the events of the past few weeks influenced the position well, you previously well, held? Well, Isani, I am privy and seized to other facts which cause me to have to be very careful in how I come down on where whoever support with respect to this matter. You see what I mean? The allegation that has been made public in relation, I think, to, to Minister Saldiva, for example, the suggestion is that he was receiving monies from a source abroad. Well, as I just told you, Ambassador Sondland in the United States is said to have been given his appointment as ambassador because he contributed a million dollars to the Trump campaign. The giving of money by itself to a politician is not per se illegal or immoral. One has to find the circumstances behind it. If you get money from a known drug dealer, that is worrisome.